Invisible Archie! It made monsters out of harmless creatures. Too bad Archie was next, but it didn't stop there. Can Filton bring them back before it's too late? Invisible Archie! Reggie and Archie turn invisible. I feel that's all I really need to say. So after both Reggie and Archie become jealous of what appears to be the son of Barbados Slim from Futurama, because he's taking Betty and Veronica's attention, though give it a week and both girls will be falling over Archie all over again for some reason. Though make note that this is the third African American character who just suddenly appears in an episode with no previous time on screen, and will just disappear once the episode is done, just like in the car episode. Wanting to match up to our new character of the week, both Reggie and Archie try to steal a growth serum made by Dilton to help them, which ends up just splashing on them during the scuffle. And now, let us have a moment of silence, for it is the last time on this list that Dilton will be the cause of an issue in this show. The two split up as Archie finds himself disappearing entirely, though why when only his clothes got splashed and not all over him? And it's the same with Reggie, being made even stupider when the episode shows his backpack turning invisible with him, despite the fact he wasn't wearing it when he got splashed. Because who cares about having any sort of rules for the episode to follow? Let's just make everything invisible. The school, the characters, any sort of interesting plot. Whilst Archie seeks a way to find Dilton and a way to change back, Reggie has still not noticed that he's invisible, something that anyone would notice immediately. Being dissed by Veronica is one thing, but Moose? because there's another episode where realistic writing can go hang if it dares interfere with the plot. Archie finds Dalton who warns them if they don't change back, the change will be permanent and they will eventually disappear from the universe entirely, to which I call bullshit. But things like this are the reasons that many of these episodes are as low down on the list as they are. Archie heads out to find Reggie, for some reason dressing in full invisible man regalia, so that Reggie can find him better which of course makes no sense, but it's just so Archie can be caught by the principal and then ditched to disguise to escape. Reggie, on the other hand, has been messing with the guy from earlier because he's a jealous douche nozzle, which may be worse than being the bag, but I'm not entirely sure. Either way, he's a dick. Dilton makes the antidote and turns Archie back, with the pair heading to the football field as they assume Reggie will be there and up to no good. Which is 100% correct, Reggie is now messing with the guy whose name I think is only mentioned once in this entire episode, whilst Archie puts the antidote into the sprinkler system and uses it to shower Reggie. With Reggie now visible and not noticing, he continues to be a dick, and is then soundly beaten for it. <laughs> Mantle! <laughs> Ending the episode. I don't think this needs much explaining for why this episode is here, does it? The overly generic plot of teens turned invisible, the waste of time that is Archie dressing entirely so he can be seen amounting to nothing, the same old new character introduced to just be another plot point, the questionable way the invisibility came about, and once again a character being oblivious to something that no normal person in their life would be. So just like the plot of this, I wish the episode could just disappear, but I'll settle for it being at number 5. 